Hey yo everyone, one uh well this is a happy anime cafe fate manager here with a walk walkthrough pro project for the game Soul Calibur 2 Weapon Master Mode. If you're lo looking for for the weekly playthrough, then you are looking at the wrong play playlist because this is a walkthrough for Weapon Master. If you want to uh, well, watch the well, weekly play playthroughs where the videos are shorter. And I'm just playing through arcade mode with just one one character every week. Then, then go go to that play playlist. So anyway, now that I've uh, done the introduction, let's uh, start a new game. Name entry. So you got to uh, type in a name. I'm not playing Viv, Victor as in, as in me, I'm the, uh, I am victorious. No, that's actually my name. I like it way better than my middle name, because my middle name sounds too kiddish. Alright, th this will be my name on a permanent basis. When I first played this game, I, I just uh, picked Kage as my as my username name for Weapon Master, but anyway, you can only uh, put up the ten characters anyway, so you can't have any names that are be beyond that. Like you can't have like a guy you username like you have in Guy on Line where you can put put up to like twenty characters worth. So anyway, let's start. Re register as Victor, yes. Chosen by history, a man becomes a warrior. Engraved into the history, a warrior becomes a hero's... Oh, just give me a chance to read it, will you? Countless legends surround the world. Sword known as Soul Edge Stone. Some claim to be the ultimate weapon. Others refer to it as the Sword of Heroes, a phantom sword uh, with the immeasurable power of the spirit. Man, I can't really read all this if the text just disappears too fast. I swear I have to pause the vid video just to re just to re read in my head. So anyway, here's the tutorial. Command menu. In weapon master mode, press start to open the press start the press the start button to open up the command menu. Various controls such as character and weapon changes can be performed in the command menu. Mission. It is possible to change the selected character in weapon master mode. The character you choose is up to you. Select the character that is most appropriate for the mission to ease your quest. Or for an additional challenge, select a character that is least favorable for the mission. Acquiring weapons. One of the challenges in Weapon Master mode is collecting the bounty of different weapons. In, in Weapon Master mode, you may use any of the weapons in your possession. Moreover, you can use the weapons you collected in the extra mode. Hidden extras. There are numerous secret features in weapon master mode, but it's up to you to find them. Good luck. Anyway, here's all the characters that I have. Uh, here's my initial characters. We have Raphael, Talum, Cassandra, 
I mean, I think these two are cute. Can't remember his name. Mitsurugi, Taki, Volo, Nightmare. Can't remember his name. Can't remember her name. Maxi. Astaroth. Ivy. Taihachi. And I can't remember his name. I think it. I'm, I want to call him Necrid because. Yeah, I think he's Necrid. Oh, by the way, since I'm playing the PlayStation 2 version of this game. You. Taihachi is a playable character in this game. For the Xbox uh, version, you get Spawn, and for the GameCube version, you get Link from the uh, from the Legend of Zelda. I'm not sure where Spawn is from. As for why you play as Taihachi Nishima in this game. I almost feel right, right at home because I was a bit more familiar with the Tagen series before I played this game. As I said, then when I play, play as Hihachi, I kind of feel right at home. Although Hihachi doesn't put, use any weapons in battle, he does defend himself with bracers. So he's the only character in the game, in the entire Soul Calibur saga that uses his fists. So, I mean, he gives a, bu a bunch of the other characters a run for their money, but it, it, it's all up to, to you on which character you like to pl play as, and, and I suggest choosing the one that works well for you. So, I'm going to go ahead and play as Taihachi. Chapter 1, Regulus Proving Ground. You stood before the entrance of the pro to the Proving Grounds in the land of Regulus. Famous for its skilled swordsmen, you predicted that your journey to find the le legendary ultimate sword Soul Edge would likely be a difficult one. Therefore, you traveled to the re Regulus and ordered to polish your fighting skills before setting off on your quest. After passing through the gate, you found a man standing before you, blocking your path. This is the scenario for chapter 1. Halt! You who seek mastery of the way of the warrior, we have no interest in those who lack potential. First you must prove your worth. It seems that you have to fight this man to prove your strength and determination. Seeing you take hold of your weapon without a moment's hesitation, the man grinned and said, Well, looks like we've got a lively one here. Good. I think this one's got, got some promise. Alright, for Regulus, there's one, one of three missions to accomplish. Scenario. You can access your scenario, chapter scenario with a square button. Since there's only one, one but area, that's the only place you can move to. Proving Ground. Press X uh, for uh, for explanation. Go to go back to the world, world map. Press triangle. Right now, I have no experience points and no gold. So here's the first stage. The obje objective is clear all the exercises. They also keep a record of how many many times have you uh, passed and how. How many times have you tried, tried, and how many times have you passed? You want to keep an even uh, numbers because if your tries are ha higher than your than your uh, achievements, then you failed some. Can't change history, so you better do a good job. So that the so this is the easiest uh, part of the game. 
I sense your determination. There's also the description of the the mission, like a story is being told. <clears throat> so I sense your determination. I'm impressed. After a few bouts, the man said this to you and pat patted your shoulder lightly. You've been accepted into the regular proving grounds. Your training began the next day. It seemed that the man who tested you, Edgar, was also bid to be your trainer. We'll start with the basics. Taking your we weapon in hand, you waited for Edgar's next word. The battle will begin after the mission explanation. Clear all the exercises. Press A to perform a horizontal attack. Try hitting me with this. Horizontal attacks are useful against circling enemies. Learn them well. Now press B. To perform a vertical attack. Now try attacking me uh, with it. See if you can hit me. Oh yeah, there's a time limit, so you better hurry up. Since I don't have the instruction booklet, okay, press K to perform a kick. Now try hitting me with with one. Most kicks are quick attacks. They are good for catching your opponent off guard. Press the G to guard against your opponent's attacks. I'm going to attack you now. Let's see your guard. Since I don't have the instruction booklet anymore, you can't win the battles if you can't defend against attacks. It's not flashy, but it's crit critical to master. Since I don't have the instruction booklet anymore, I won't know. Uh, I don't know. I know uh, what B, A, and J, K is, so I just guess by pressing the button like this. I think it's logical. You can uh, run by holding the directional button down. By running around, you can adjust the distance to your opponent as well as dodge attacks. Press AG or VG to throw your opponent. Don't forget that it only works in close range though. Try throwing me. It's always a good idea to try throwing your opponent whenever you are close. Next up is guard impact. This one is a bit tricky. First I'll show you how it's done. Okay, give me your, your best shot. You can repel or parry an opponent's attacks by pressing guard with right or left on the directional button at the right time. Now it's uh, my turn to shut. Now it's my turn to attack. Show me that you could pull off a guard impact. But be careful of the timing. You successfully guard impact and attack, you will have a significant advantage. Last session is the soul charge. You can gather your strength by pressing A, B, and K. Now show me your strength. Soul Charge increases the strength of your attacks. I'm a big fan of it myself. Show me well how. Show me how well you can use it. Very good, you passed my test. Here's a little something in recognition. A new feature has been unlocked. So I'm a newcomer. Yeah, level 1 is newcomer. Weapon Master is only one is one player only, so 
it's a fun mode, mode to play. Play if you're if you're uh, playing uh, this game alone. Otherwise, it would would been a little dull to play a two-player game uh, alone. Congratulations! Extra practice mode has been unlocked. Added. What's the difference between extra practice mode mode and just regular practice mode? Okay, ne next up is the Bulwark ru Ruins. I forgot to mention you can you access your command menu with with the start button. Well, whether you're you're on a mission mission chapter or world map wherever you are, but you won't be able to access it while you are on the mission. So be prepared. You can just select your weapon, Kiai Sin, most familiar and well balanced weapon. For, for him. You can also change your characters over time. Shop. I have enough go gold for... I should supply some of the other characters weapons and... There are other stuff you can uh, lock in. As you pro progress through the ga game, I mean, not not all the shops will sell the same thing. Oh yeah, and by the way, wait. Just so you don't accidentally uh, per purchase a weapon that you intended to buy for, that you actually that you unintentionally bought, bought for that character, they uh, they list the na names of well, which character is this intended for. So they give you all obvious uh, signs on well which which what well, what weapon is it is associated with that character. And for whatever reason, I on she's what weapon is new new what well, weapon to be bought is expensive. Goju it's about a thousand gold. You guys are nuts. You can also save games. Now, I've already drank all my beer. And and it's all in one can. I know I'm spending too much time just talking and talking and talking, but we'll get over to this, uh... Okay, now next, in the next episode, I'm gonna go, go over the... Bulwark Ruins. an easy difficulty. It says the objective is to utilize all that you learn to defeat all the enemies. Having completed your basic training, you have to travel with Edgar to the advanced proving grounds of Bulwark of the Bulwark Ruins. Okay, th thanks for watching and we'll get around to this uh, next mission in the next episode. Until next time, to be continued, baby.